Hey guys, Varun here from Uniplu or the Apple Tutor. And today I'm going to give you another cool motion fight tutorial. This one is something you guys will really like. It's how to create that cool shining uh, text effect that you see in a lot of um, intros. And it's actually pretty awesome. And it's not too difficult. And um, we can just do it uh, within Motion 5. So let's just go ahead and open up a new motion project. And uh, let's just get this at broadcast HE720. And just open this up. And uh, right now we have um, our motion, uh, our motion document to open up. And uh, firstly, we want to get some text. So firstly, before we do anything, we need to fit in window. So just click on this little hundred percent thing here, an arrow, and click on fit in window. Now everything will be um, seen, and they will, nothing will be zoomed up. <clears throat> so now we'll add some text. I'm just going to type in um, the, uh, the Apple Tutor. Okay, and then uh, let's get our selection tool. Or I can just go to my inspector. And then from there, I can increase my size um, maybe this much. Let's, let's break it pretty big so it'll look nice. And we'll just get our selection tool and move it somewhere in the center. Just like that. And um, now I just want to add quickly add some textile to this. So if I go to library and if I go to textiles um, and go to just choose anything, I'm just going to choose this uh, desert sky. Make sure you've got that selected. And then from there we can just drag it in, and we have something like this. So, yep. And uh, right now what we want to do is uh, duplicate our text, and then drag. We need to drag the text below to create a new group. And now, what we can do is create, just click on our original layer, and then go into our library, go into filters, go into color correction, and then from there, let's just choose levels. Once we drag levels, just drag it in. Uh, we need to adjust the levels by going to our inspector. And then from there, just click on this little arrow here and just make it much brighter, like this bright. That's good. And then uh, what we can do is we can go to our text. We can go to style. And then we can maybe increase the glow, the blur and radius. Uh, blur a bit more. Let's make the radius. Let's increase the radius as well. I think that's that should be good. And um, from there, what we can do is we need to click on uh, this, this little text here. And uh, what we need to do is create a new group. So just click on just click on this little plus button right here to create a new group. And then from there, just drag your uh, group into this one. And then you'll have something like this. And uh, now what we want to do is mask this out to make only a, a small selection. So we can go to our mask tool right here. Make sure the make sure the group, the new group is selected. From there, uh, click and hold and select the Bezier mask. And we'll have like a pen kind of tool, something like uh, what you see in After Effects. Uh, and then just make a small selection, something diagonal like this. Um, just around here. And then you can see that only uh, some uh, only small part is uh, masked out. And um, what you'll notice is, if we just go back to our Selection and Transform tool, what you'll notice is we can actually move it on, move it along. And now we're getting to the effect. I'm sure most of you guys can guess for what uh, we're going to do from here. So let's move it out of the frame and uh, our canvas. And what we want to do is record the keyframes. Click on this little record button right here. And uh, make sure you uh, click on show frames. From here, click on record keyframe. Just click on this record button. And then let's move in about, let's just uh, move in 100 frames. And then just move this across, just like that. So what we have here, this is stop to record. What we have here is a cool effect. If we just select our whole project, we can see that we have a cool effect like this. And this is just amazing. Um, what we can uh, do now is we can adjust the glow just by going to your, just by clicking your text, your group, and uh, going to inspector, going to all of that. Just you can select the text itself, and then from here you can go to text, you can go to style, and just change the glow. You can always adjust it, but um, here's how the final result looks like. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. 
Uh, definitely more motion tutorials as well as other tutorials coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.